What's up? Welcome back. In this episode, we're going to talk about day one of the advent of code for the year 2022. We're going to solve this in Ruby. Let's jump right into it. So day one is called calorie counting, and it is about uh, the magical food that the reindeer are going to eat and how much food the elves are carrying and stuff. So um, let's jump down to sort of the example input here. So each of the elves are going to be carrying some food items and sort of like each group here is going to be the food items that individual elves are carrying. So 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, those are the calorie counts for different food items that one elf is carrying. 4,000 is going to be calories for food that a second elf is carrying. 5,000 and 6,000 are the calories that a third elf is carrying and so on and so forth. And so we have the first challenge here or part one to the challenge is to figure out the elf that's carrying the most calories and how many calories that elf is carrying. So in this case, what we wanna do is sort of group each of these uh, like calorie values together, sum them up and then figure out which of these elves is carrying the most. I hope that makes sense. Basically, uh, in this case, if we add 7,000 plus 8,000 plus 9,000, we're gonna get 24,000 and that is the most calories that any elf is carrying. So what we wanna do is we'll just grab this input here, this sample input and start playing around. I'm gonna jump into the terminal and we'll just create day1.rb. And in here, at the very bottom of the file, I'm gonna say end, and then I'm just gonna paste in all of the details. So in Ruby, you can add this sort of a dunder, I don't know, this is like a delimiter at the bottom of your file. And this says that like anything after the end will be available in uh, this special thing called data. So if we were to just say like uh, Ruby day one.rb, then we can see that this, this is like an, a file, right? So we can say data dot read lines, save that. Okay, and then if we run this again, now we're gonna see each of the different lines here. So we see 1000 with the new line, 2000 and so on and so forth. So the first thing that I wanna do is sort of group by each of these groups of numbers. And there is an enumerable method, Ruby enumerable um, for just like building up these chunks or groups. And that is called chunk while. So I'm gonna use this chunk while method. Um, but before we do that, I also want to like make sure that we don't have any new lines anymore. So I'm gonna say dot map um, chomp. So that's gonna like remove the ends of the new lines. And then what I wanna do is say dot chunk while, and then that's gonna give us um, A and B, right? So the A and B are gonna be two lines, like two consecutive lines. So that'll give us like 3000 and this next line. And what I wanna do is say like, I wanna group these chunks um, while there's not an empty space, basically. I want like chunks where there's not an empty space. And okay, so I'm gonna say something like B, while B does not equal um, the empty string. And that should give us like a few different chunks. So let's run this again. Ah, it's giving us an enumerator. So we wanna just say 2A just to see what we get. So we'll run that. Okay, so now we're seeing these, uh, it's an array of arrays, right? Where the first array is that has the string 1000, the string 2000, string 3000. So ultimately we want to sort of like sum up these values. And in the second array, you'll notice that we do have this sort of like empty string. So there's a couple things we could do here. One, we could go through and sort of like filter those out as we're processing each line. Or because I really just want like the sum of values that's here and the if we convert the empty string to an integer, I think we're just gonna get zero back and zero plus 4,000 is valid for sort of like the calories that this elf is carrying, we should be good. So what we wanna do is um, now we wanna map over each of these groups and uh, sum them up or like convert them to integers. So let's say map uh, 2i so that they get converted to integers. So let's see what that gives us. Oh, we wanna map each group and then each group needs to be mapped to I. So we're gonna say um, map group, if I can spell, and then group.map to I. So that should, that should convert all of the numbers in each group to an integer. So if we run this, now we have the integer values and the empty string did get converted to a zero. So that's great. Okay, so now we want to sum, uh, we wanna sum each of the groups up. So one thing that we can do, uh, there's actually a couple things that I wanted to talk about here. So to make this just a little bit more concise, rather than um, using 
the pipes when we're when we're talking about a block what we can do is we can remove the pipes and instead of referencing the arguments to the block by name we can reference them with underscore number so in this case we can take out this group and just use underscore one because it is the first argument to the block and up here just to demonstrate that even further we can say uh, we can remove that and say underscore two so now we have something that's just a little bit shorter and more concise and it's still giving us sort of the same answer there now what we want to do is we want to like map over each of those and sum them up and because we're just calling a method on the on one of the arguments or on like the the only argument there we should be able to just like pass in again this shortcut method that will uh, calculate the sum for us run that again and now we have the values like the total calories for each of the elves in the group so at this point what we want to do is just grab off the maximum so the max should give us 24,000 and it does okay so now we are good for at least the example input so we're, we're passing for the example input so it, it just says like give us the elf that's carrying the most calories and then tell us the total of calories that they're carrying and um, my puzzle answer was 72070 so for the um, the test input so they're going to give you just like a bunch of test input what we can do here is create a, a new um, file called input and that's like 2069 lines long so not something necessarily I want to dump into the end of my file here but what we can do instead is say just like okay let's make this data equals data and that will be true if we're um, if we're using sort of the stuff that's in line in the file otherwise we'll say data equals file dot read and then we'll just give it I don't know arg v dot first that way we can pass the name of a file and it should operate the same. Okay, and so now the way that we need to call this is like Ruby day one, day zero, one RB with input. So we're gonna say something like Ruby day one with input. And okay, we have an error because read lines is no longer something we need here. Uh, File.read lines. Boom, okay, 72,070. All right, so that is part one of day one, and we have the right answer. Now, part two, by the time you calculate the answer to the elves question, they already realized that the elf carrying the most calories might be, they might have already run out of snacks for the reindeer. We don't want them to run out of snacks for the reindeer. So uh, what we wanna do is find the, uh, the top three elves. So we need to find the elves that have the most calories. What am I thinking? Okay, so I think what we want to do now is sort. We want to like sort the array. And then we'll take um, the top three. So once it's sorted, if we look at this. Uh, yeah, so we want to like play with our test input again. So just comment that out, comment that in. Okay, so now our input is sorted. We want to grab these last three items. There's a couple ways we could do that, but I think the easiest is to just use like negative three um, dot dot. I don't know if that's going to work to the end. Yeah. Okay. So that gives us the values to the end, negative three up to the end of the array. And then I think the output wants us to add or to, to sum those up. How many calories are those three elves carrying in total? Yeah. So we want to get the sum of those three values. So now we can just call dot sum on the end of that and we should get back our total. So in the example, yeah, we're expecting 45,000. And for our example input, which here, we'll switch that again, and then we'll just pass in input. We get back 211,805, boom, awesome. Okay, so that is a solution to uh, this first calorie counting thing. Uh, what's cool, and I, I don't know if you've seen this one before, so chunk while, this is kind of like maybe the interesting bit for this solution. And also we talked about sort of passing in numbered arguments uh, or using these numbered references to the arguments into a block. So hopefully this was fun and interesting. And that is day one. Stick around. We're going to do day two next. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for your time and attention. And if you want to follow along with the series, go ahead and hit subscribe. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you around.